Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, of course, we are back on Ark, and on episode 5 of the colonisation series, we're building the farm, an essential building for feeding and supplying the village. The farm will sit right next to the clinic and apothecary, and will be irrigated from the central lake so that the Sky Lord can channel his energy through the water and bless the village's harvest. Firstly, we're going to go ahead and place down our foundations. The base plate ends up being 5 tiles wide and 7 tiles long from the entrance side, with an extra foundation ramp on the front left to facilitate an entrance ramp. The foundations are later lined with railings, with two railings separating the exit door of the allotment from the rest of the porch. When the foundations were done, I went ahead and laid down the fence for the allotments. I did this using stone fence foundations and found a decent amount of success with them, though as always they were still very awkward to place and work with. I got them as close to the foundations as I could and then I added railings around them to close the fence on the allotments. When this was done it was time to build the house. I built up the usual stone walls topped with wooden walls, adding greenhouse walls in for certain areas to facilitate natural light. I placed five greenhouse walls around the allotment door so that farmers can check the crops from the comfort of the farmhouse. I also sectioned off two rooms, one for storage of tools and harvest, and one as a small bedroom. The farmer would usually live here and take care of his plants around the clock, so some small living quarters are essential. When this was done, I built some rafters below where the roof would be placed. This isn't something I've done in any build yet in the Sky Lake Village, or anywhere else actually, but it adds quite a nice aesthetic touch to the house. When this was done, I then placed down the roof onto the house. The three tile wide nature of the house means that the roof is a flat apex as opposed to a pointed one. Thus, I used greenhouse ceilings at the apex with stone roofing for the rest of the construction. When the house was then done, I went down to the lake and began to irrigate. If you've seen it in my videos, you know I'm not the best when it comes to irrigation, but I think this time it actually turned out alright. I ran the pipes up inclines and straight to keep it as close to the ground as possible, and then ran it up to the far side of the fence. I then created two branches of irrigation above the allotments with intersections and added taps onto them. When this was done, I then placed our medium crop plots under every tap, seeded and fertilised them. When this was all said and done, I went ahead and furnished the building. I started off by placing tables in the main hall, one accommodating some sitting room and the other accommodating a mortar and pestle station. Going into the storage room, we have six large storage boxes, eight preserving bins, a smithy and two small storage boxes on catwalks. Heading out into the allotments, I've placed down a bench on one side so farmers can sit on the porch on some of the hotter days. The allotments themselves are coming along quite nicely with the crops growing well and ready for harvest. And there we have it, the Sky Lake Village Farm, an essential source of food and resources for the residents of the village and the nearby apothecary. 
If you have enjoyed, do go ahead and drop a like on this video and let me know what you thought in the comments below. Whilst you're there, check out the channel and catch up on the colonisation series if you haven't already. We're six episodes in, but there's still a lot to do, so subscribe to make sure you don't miss the next episode. Again, thanks for watching and I shall see you soon.